If you're struggling to keep a high pace throughout your training sessions, you find yourself dropping off after the first hour, here is how to eat to enhance your performance. Pre-training, aim for roughly one to one and a half grams of carbs per kilo that you weigh in the four hour window before training. For most people, consuming between 50 to 100 grams in this four hour window will be suitable. For example, if you weigh 70 kilos and you train at 7 p.m., that means consuming somewhere between 70 to 105 grams of carbs between 3 and 7 p.m. That could be all in one meal or it could be split between a meal and a snack. Make sure you're hydrated, so drink a glass of water with this meal as well. During training, aim for 30 to 60 grams of carbs per hour for anything moderate, high intensity and over 90 minutes. Sports drinks are probably the best way to get these carbs on board because it doesn't require eating during your session and it also provides fluid to support your hydration. If you're not used to consuming carbs during training, start at the lower end of 30 grams per hour. Post-training, again, about 50 to 100 grams is a great rule of thumb for most people within about an hour or so of finishing training. If it's going to be much longer than an hour, you could have something like a protein shake with a carbohydrate sauce like a banana to kickstart your recovery, especially if your next session is less than 24 hours away. As long as eating something is next in your priority list after getting home and showering, though, you probably don't need to be super concerned with timing. For an extra boost, creatine, caffeine, and beta alanine can be used. Creatine can be taken any time of day. Caffeine is probably best taken before your workout. Beta alanine can technically be taken any time of day, but I recommend before a workout due to the tingling side effect. 